Hello! In my previous video, we've talked about if. Now we'll cover about ifs. If is similar with if, the difference is you can store more than one condition. This is useful if you have complex conditioning or multi-scenario. Let's jump straight to the example. Based on my parcel delivery app, there are a few steps for the parcel to be delivered. Steps are Fulfillment process Parcel pack Logistic partner collection and parcel delivered. So now I want my delivery status to be automatically changed based on the current progress. We will use if expression to monitor the progress and return a status for us to track. Head over to data, the view columns of your table. I will add the expression in the fulfillment status column. I'll add the condition in reverse order. The reason why is so that the logic doesn't stop when the first process is completed. The expression would be ifs condition for step number 4, condition for step number 3, for number 2, and condition for step 1. For start, let's do condition 4 and 3 to see the example. Here is the expression used for this tutorial. Let's try and have a look. Save the app. Now if I make an update to process for step number 3 and step number 4, you will see that the status will change based on which step is completed. Now let's complete the rest. And the final outcome, the status will update according to the steps completed in order. This is of course one of many other use cases that you can use for ifs. For this example would help in keeping track of the latest status of the parcel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.